Hello Safi members and welcome to this video where we will show you the newest addition to Safi eLogbook app. Previously, EWD Plus users were having a simple photo note feature where a comment and one photo could be taken and posted on the timeline. However, from today, they'll enjoy forms instead. At no additional cost, they'll be able to create daily truck check, driver check, proof of delivery, trip plan, and a free report of their choice. Without further ado, let me show you how you create these paperless forms easily and use them to track and organize the important events in your transport business or simply get them communicated to your base with zero effort. To start, tap the forms icon and choose the form you'd like to create. There are five forms now, but this number will potentially continue to grow to serve the needs of our valued members. So, we've got the trip plan, driver check, the daily truck check, proof of delivery, and a free photo form that you can use to document anything you'd like to communicate or come back to later, like loading or unloading report. Let's start by creating a daily truck check form since this check is the most done by truck drivers. Tap truck check to open the form. The prime mover rejo is already filled since it's entered in the electronic work diary. The check items are grouped in categories to make the check easy. We've got the essentials, fluids belts, hoses and tanks, body check, and safety and security. The form assumes everything is fine unless you say otherwise, whether it's a damage or a blown off light. Let's assume here that we've got a problem in the battery. To point that out, tap the tick to convert it to an X, then you can attach a photo to show the issue. You can choose to attach a previously taken photo from your device gallery or take a fresh photo of the battery, then confirm to get attached. Notice that the photo icon turns to yellow symbolizing the existence of a photo. Now, if a certain check item is not applicable to your truck, you can gray it out by tapping the N slash A. So it's either an X and then you attach a photo, or if you need to exclude an item, then you gray it out. That's it for the prime mover. Now, if you've got a single or several trailers, you can add their checks as well. All trailers are grayed out by default, but you can activate them as you need. Let's assume you've got one trailer, Activate its check by tapping the N slash A. Now the trailer rejo will appear if you already entered it in the electronic work diary. Otherwise, you can type it in. In the same fashion, you can point out an issue by toggling to an X and attaching a photo. Let's assume that the wheel nuts got a problem, exit and tap to attach a photo. So, that's my photo. I can open it and check the issue, which is a missing nut. Then I can confirm it and go on. When I'm happy about the form, I can save it to my timeline with the option to let the form display in the time of your liking by tapping on save. If you go to the timeline, you'll see that it's clean and tidy and the forms do not appear on it. To access the forms, go to the date bar and tap it to find the form that you just created. Tap the pencil to open and view the form or to make additions or changes. Let's gray out the airbag's height, update the form, the get back in again to see that this exclusion have been saved to the trailer. That's it for the truck check form. Now let's explore other forms one by one. Again, tap the form creation icon on the timeline or go to the date bar, tap it, and you'll get the form creation button at the bottom of the screen. Tap trip plan to open the form. Very quickly, I'll enter the manifest number. I'll set loading location to lock one, delivery location to lock two. Plan departure time to 6 o'clock today and arrival time to tomorrow 12 o'clock noon time. My average plan speed is 85 km per hour and my speedo reading is whatever it displays. Next section is weight information. Let's say that I'm carrying 30 tons. If mistype the weight but close to the number you want, you can use the plus and minus buttons to correct your entry. The source of weight information could be set to con note, weight at loading, weigh bridge, or an estimation. You can attach the document that shows the declared weight from your gallery or by taking a fresh photo. In the same way, you can fill up the values of the weigh bridge and attach the weigh bridge report if any. Once all's done, you can confirm and move to entering or checking the rest of the trip plan information. Driver information are pre-filled with your driver profile data and second driver information if any, but you can still edit these info without affecting your driver profile. Moving on to fatigue management info, these are taken from your electronic work diary, so you don't need to do a thing on them. Lastly, 
your prime mover and first trailer rejo are taken from the electronic work diary, and you can add the rest of the trailers if you have several ones. Once done, choose at what time you'd like your trip plan form to be saved and tap the Save button. In the same way, we can open the trip plan form again to check it, add more info to it, and update it if needed. Now, going out to the timeline, it's kept neat and tidy because the forms are organized inside each date bar. Before proceeding to other forms, I'd like to show you how simple it is to navigate the forms. Tap date bar to see the forms made in that date and use the front and back arrows to move between days and hit the U-turn button to go back to timeline. Let's proceed to creating the driver check form. This one is mostly used by fleet operators nowadays as a checklist of drivers' physical and mental health and the availability of all information and equipment that are needed to complete the transport task. If you're an owner driver and don't wish to use this form, that's totally up to you. Now, checks are self, vehicle, load, environment, operational instructions, and regulatory. What you need to do to fill up this form is specify whether a certain item is in check and that lights up the form in green. However, if you got any concern, you can raise that to your boss or base by hitting the concern button. I'll pretend that the placard is damaged and attach a photo of it for my base to see. Once saved, the base can see the concern and act on it, saving everyone's time and effort. Next, let's do a proof of delivery. I'll pretend that I unloaded at Bunnings, so we'll type that in the note box, attach the POD copy, and save. Now you can create as many PODs as you like or jam all the copies in one POD form. It's however you like it to be. I'll make another proof of delivery for demonstration. Pretending that I delivered to Mr. 10, attach the POD copy. Um, done. Here are the two PODs listed in my forms. Last but not least, the free photo form. Let's mimic a broken pallet case. We'd like to protect truth, reputation, and avoid untrue claims. So, taking a photo before loading and noting this down is the best way to avoid headache, claims, and pay delays. Let's say that we've made this note while loading was happening at half past six in the morning. Save, and it gets pushed up the list because of the time it's been taken. Having the beginning sentence of the note displayed makes it easy for you to locate it when you need. That was all about forms. Hit the Create button, choose your form, fill it, attach photos, save it, and navigate between forms when needed. If you like this feature, please give us a shout out in the comments and like this video to let your friends know. If you'd like to see more forms added in, let us know in the comments as well. Wish you all safey travels, and see you in next video.